Cheers guys! What I want to show you today is we also have one of these super annoying carburetor it's the PHP H30 Delorto and you cannot set it from 0 to 30% slide opening it's always enriching isn't it? I want to show you today a trick that you might want to try which definitely helps with this over reaching at the bottom end and it is about the mixer tube because often these carburetors do come with a different settings or with different jets there is a sticker on the floating chamber which indicates which jets are actually in the carburetor and some of those jets do work and some don't so keep that in mind not only main jet and idle jet have to be exchanged sometimes sometimes also the mixer tubes and what i want to show you is the difference between between the short hv mixer tube which is mostly for 28 carburetors and the AS which I do like more in the 30 millimeter carb and I would say it belongs also in there there is a huge difference and that's what I'm gonna show you now let's go for test right oh, uh, this is the AS and it works very good in my opinion and later on I'm gonna show you what uh, the short HV is causing something very very annoying I often give the tip online just try the AHS and more than once it did help and the owner was very very happy and that's what I want to document on the video oh yes test drive sounds nice good response not too rich but give a ride to the bottom end if it is over or not look I'm gonna use low rest doesn't sound too wrong does it so this is a VMC 186 rotary well with a uh, 264 Mexico but a a S as it is a 30 millimeter carburetor
know the drill. Getting the mixer tube out, finger in. Let's compare the mixer tube. AS264 a we 264 just a bit shorter but now now you will see the big difference between these two mixer tubes and i always recommend to use an as if you have problems with overreaching at low refs uh one quarter one third try an hs it might solve your problems let's put it in a we mixer tube let's see how it's rideable i'm a bit scared many years ago that i did use these wrong mixer tubes let's see prop was empty pump electric pump yes. It's definitely return low ref. Oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> Shit! Nothing changed. No action. Nothing. It's right level, but no fun. Huge difference. You can even hear it, yeah? or I at least.
see that? That's fairly rideable and super in the way. Oh. I'm gonna get rid of that H reef very quickly. Jeez, guys. I just got some milk for my baby boy. He likes to have his bottle at night. I did use the West Band, there was still the 264 HV mixer tube atomizer in there, and it is just not bearable. It is horrible to write. I would really lose the fun in Wespa if I would have to use this setting. The interesting thing is, that's the code. The code for the setting of the carburetor. It is on the card box where the carburetor comes in and it is on a sticker on the float chamber. And this code is called two stroke sticker. It's always on the float chamber. 3343. The two stroke version with the AS atomizer mixed tube. I like the Lorto UK homepage. It is quite informative and they do have look at this. Three three four three. That's a three three four three. All copyright Delorto UK of course. And you see here the standard chatting and you see here that here we do have the two six six atomizer. You also have a Vespa version of the 30 millimeter cover right there. It is called R4048. Two stroke Lambretta Ves. And look at that. It does come with an HV. And this is definitely the wrong one, as you could see before. So the big question is why does <laughs> Eurocorp why does the Lord think that a Vespa is not two-stroke? Because they do definitely offer the correct one, R3343, with the AS atomizer. So why not asking Eurocorp, the Lord of UK and Italy, about why they think that Vespa is not two-stroke? I would like the origin of this thinking, of this setup, a mate way more experienced than I am. Be the Molossi set up for a very very old cast iron to just over rich them guys. Jeez. Have a good one. And if you like what you saw do not forget to subscribe. Still got some ideas. Stuff coming up. Jeez. This piston circle clip does sit a little bit loose, look at that, easy twist at all, and you can even twist it with your finger. That's a bit unusual, so further investigation. Save move it with his fingers, let's see. That's suspicious. And let's start with the used ones. And let's get a used P200, EPX200. So I take this tool and we'll, we'll check if they move or not. If they easily move or not. Does move but not very easy we have a 152 port super 150 or so from the 60s 
<laughs> does it move at all? It does. But it did quite tight. Next one. Polini 177. It is a castle piston. It's a good one. Has good beams here. Check out the other guy. X beam check. So is this circlip in the sea movable or not? A bit or not? These were the used pistons. Let's get it on with the new one. Meteor. PX200 piston from Grossport. What's the difference? Windows are exactly the same, also inside the same, but it has thinner piston rings. That's gonna be the O tuning light. The next one for the world travelers, check it out. It's coming up with some review over the last 35,000 kilometers with the version 1 O tuning light. So it has this one and let's. You got to move it, move it. You got to move it. You know it's ugly. Movable, but. And from here. Not that easy. It does sit quite tight. BX200. This is the current. Whoops. <laughs> the current. Malossi Sport 210 piston, the Vertex, not also anymore. And it has the C clip. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. It does sit good and tight. Movable though, but it needs certain snacks. Malossi. Let's continue with the Chrono. VMC Chrono? No, wrong. That's the VMC Chrono. It is a piston from Meteor. It's all the C circlet. Let's see. You don't need strength. It's exploited. It's movable. It needs strength. So slowly we get the impression how circlips are supposed to sit in the seat. This is the VMC super cheap piston. It's the same as the Stelvio. Rather from the efficient side, but still okay. Let's see how this circlip moves. Oh, even less than the Malossi and the Corona. It does, but okay. <laughs> Ein <laughs> Beast! Sorry, yeah. Bist du denn, was ist das ein Beast jetzt? <laughs>